what's up YouTube, I'm DJ Vaz and this is Gear Talk. Today I'm going to talk you through my DJ lighting rig and all the modifications I made to it so that I can set it up or tear it down in less than one minute. And that makes this rig super convenient for a mobile DJ. Let's go! Firstly, let's talk about the lighting rig and T-bar itself. I picked it up from Store DJ for 99 Australian dollars. This stand is made by the brand called Gravity and it's the smallest light stand they make. I bought this size because of its lightweight and compact design, allowing it to be extra mobile. Okay, let's talk about these lights and why I chose them. On the far left and right hand sides, we have the event lighting sabers that I picked up from Store DJ for $175 each. I chose this particular model because it has three effects in one. It features a multicolored derby effect, as well as a UV effect and even a strobe, adding that wow factor in a very small package. Now, looking at the two lasers I got in the middle here, these are called the Laser World EL230 RGB Laser System. And I picked these up from DJ City for $299 each. I chose these because they were designed for mobile entertainers and they came with 50 built-in patterns, including layers, tunnels, fences, and waves. The choice of models was important to me, and one of the defining selling points of these two lighting models is that they're DMX compatible, which allows me to connect them to each other to allow for synchronized lighting shows during my DJ sets. I'll show you how I did that in a sec. Let's move to the back of the T-bar now. Here you can see that I've drilled holes so that I can pass the power cables and the DMX cables through the inside of the T-bar. I did this by using a drill bit and I had to cut the socket ends of the IEC power cables and the DMX cables in order to pass them through the holes. This meant that I had to reattach new power sockets which I ordered from eBay. But of course, I'm a DJ and not an electrician. So I called a sparky friend of mine to help out with that because I don't have a death wish. Here you can see that I've used an IEC splitter that I also picked up from eBay and secured it to the T-bar handle with some heavy duty glue. And this allows me to have each of the lights connected to a single power cable, which makes it so much easier and seamless when setting up. And what makes it even easier? I got my Sparky made to add an inline switch to the main power cable, so I'm able to turn the whole rig on and off as I please. I leave the lights attached to the T-bar, so I don't have to worry about setting up four lights every time I go to a gig. And that's why the small size of the gravity stand and the compact design of the lights was so important to me in order to keep this rig mobile and easy. And the T-bar itself can mount and unmount the tripod, which is telescopic to a maximum height of 3 meters in case you were wondering how I adjusted the height. Yes, the lights are fixed as I said before, because I don't want to have to worry about setting up 4 separate lights for every gig, but if I really wanted to, I could just unplug and unscrew the lights if I wanted to remove them from the rig. Now, I realize that there are a lot of ready-made lighting rigs and gig bars out there, and a lot of them are even cheaper than this one. So if you're looking for a readily available setup similar to this, there are plenty out there. So you need to ask yourself if this time, money, and effort is worth it for you. It was for me because my setup is unique and professional and it allows me to stand out from other DJs with gig bars that don't completely wash the room or have tiny lasers that make little spots around the room which in my opinion looks a little bit cheap and tacky. So to sum it all up I've modified this stock lighting bar and turned it into a custom mobile DJ lighting rig with an inbuilt power and DMX wiring system so there's no mess of cables, seamless plug and play and quick and easy setup and tear down. Check it out. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.